Hello everyone, it's Shell C from Hip Rock Tier Studio and today I'm sh designing for Stencil Girl Creative Team. I am going to make some wearables which in my case are earrings and I'm going to make them out of shrink plastic. I have a couple different types of shrink plastic here. There's a white and then there's also a clear. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some little um, measuring tools with my shrink plastic so that I can see the size that it will be when it's shrunk because I have these little bezels that uh, I bought from Amazon. They're inexpensive little rectangular bezels and I want my shrink plastic that's been stenciled to shrink into the size that will fit into that bezel. So I'm taking a strip of the plastic and I did one for the clear plastic and the white plastic because sometimes different brands have different properties. And I made marks using my six inch ruler and then I am simply shrinking it so that my new little ruler, my new tiny little ruler is, it, it shows the size that things will be shrunk. Um, I am shrinking these with my heat tool. You can absolutely do it in the oven and it probably comes out better with less curling and things, you know, just because. So then I'm using my little shrunk ruler to measure out the plastic in the right size to fit inside my bezel. Now you're wondering to yourself, why do you need to use shrink plastic for this? Well, my concept is that I want to make something very small, but I want to keep the integrity of the stencil shape. And the only way I can think to do that is to stencil it large and shrink it small. That is all there is to it. So I started out with the white ones. I ended up liking the clear ones better, but the first ones I did were the white, the two white rectangles. Another thing that you need to remember when you're using shrink plastic is that the color that you put it on when it's big is going to intensify a lot when it's small because it, the plastic is shrinking and bringing the color down. So I first used some, some pigment type ink and I used very light colors, very light, uh, pastel colors. That particular ink was from uh, Brutus Monroe, I think. And I just put it right onto the plastic by just tipping the little tiny ink pads over and pressing it down to the plastic. Next, I have a couple archival ink pads. These work great for stenciling and I have these little brushes that were designed to be makeup brushes, but uh, work great for stenciling and I use them all the time with ink and paint. So I used a little bit darker colors, just tiny, a little bit tinier, darker, light application of that archival ink over the background with a uh, another stencil that has words on it. It's a mask actually. And then I'm using these little figures, a male figure and a female figure with the gray archival ink. You know, it's gonna shrink, it's gonna be black when it's done. And I also added just a little bit of, of decorative design as well using um, this ATC mix-up stencil on these. I used a lot of different stencils. <laughs> this time it's purple and I put it on one side. See that I want them to match <laughs> but not be the same. <clears throat> Excuse me. So one's the left and one's the right. So I also noticed that the bezels had a little bit of a curved corner on them so I trimmed those off. The corners just a little bit of a trim with some scissors before I shrunk them. Then I used my heat tool to shrink them down and I I use an acrylic block that's a very dirty acrylic block but I just use it to flatten down the you know it, it gets kind of curled when I'm doing it with my heat tool so I flatten it down with the acrylic black block block by just setting it on top of it and of course the plastic's very hot at that point you don't want to touch it it also likes to blow all over the desk <laughs> but <laughs> so now I've got these small pieces I do need to modify them just a tiny bit. So I use a little sanding block to sand the edges. And I also use my scissors. I can actually trim a little bit off and sand it um, to make them fit down into the bezel. Yes, I measured it. 
but this is my first set and maybe my measures weren't exactly 100% great. Also, there is some variation with the shrinking. I should have went downstairs and put them in the oven to see if they shrank more uniformly. They probably do in the oven. I just, I'm in my studio. I'm not going to go downstairs and turn on the oven and, you know, go through all that process. I don't have any type of toaster oven or anything in my studio. So I get them to fit in there. Takes a little bit of adjustment. The next ones that I do are better because I adjust my measurements. You know, everything is just a little bit of a, a trial and error situation. So to stick them inside the bezels, I use this Dimensional Magic from Mod Podge. You could also use Crystal Effects or uh, there's another one that's really popular from Ranger. It's basically Dimensional Clear Glue. And I put them in and glue them down. And of course, I'm going to also put a layer of that Dimensional Magic over the top, which I show later on in the video. At the beginning, I told you that I liked the clear ones better. And the reason that I ended up liking the clear better is because it shows the shiny silver that's in the back, that's in the bezel itself, through anywhere that's not stenciled. So I thought it turned out really cool. Um, this next set, of course, is going to be with the clear plastic. You can see it on there. Um, it's harder to see on the video, but I think you can see it. And once I put some color on there, you'll see it really well. So I start with the peach uh, colored pigment ink. And then a little bit of the pink, the pink and the peach. Maybe it was the pink first and then the peach little tiny kit things. And then I use a baby wipe through a stencil and I wipe off so that I end up with just the design on there, the design of the stencil on there. And then anything that's clear in the background will show this the silver from the back coming out. And then I decide to use this botanical stencil, which I love from Stencil Girl Club. Uh, this was September Club, I believe. Sorry, I'm a little bit off the screen. <laughs> Sometimes that happens when you're focusing. So you can see they're very light, but, at, but you remember that when the plastic shrinks, it gets more intense. So you just have to remember that. I did use a brush pen, which is a a Pintel pocket brush pen. It has India ink and then a little synthetic brush that makes an interesting effect. So I traced the shapes of the botanical stencil with that. And then I shrunk them down. And remember my idea is that that clear will be see-through and you'll be able to see this the silver shining through from the back. And that does actually work. At the very end, I have a little uh, part of a video where I kind of twist them back and forth so that you can see. It's hard to see things that are shiny on video. It just, it doesn't work. Even in photos, it doesn't work very well. So I tried to do it with my photos as well to see, so you could see the shiny stuff coming through the back. You can see the bezel is shiny. And then when I put the glue on there, that glue will dry clear. So there's no worry about that. A lot less adjusting this time. Of course, that's not yet dry. They have to dry, but you can still see that some of the shine is going to come through from the back, which I think is an added bonus of using the clear shrink plastic. There's my other ones, which are getting dry now. And here's a photograph of them outside. You can kind of see the silver a little bit. I also added beads to um, the tops of them just you know to add a little bit of shimmery shiny stuff so here I am putting a coat of that dimensional magic over the top of the first ones that were done with the white plastic and now I'm going to do my third pair uh, this one has is done all with this this butterfly wing or flower if you choose to look at it that way stencil I will have the links for all the stencils that I used in this video below 
the video you know down below so you can go to stencil girl products and find them so again I'm using some uh, pigment ink that's the oily type of ink that you use for embossing and I've got a different brand these are uh, stampin up ones from a long time ago and I'm just using the ink pad because I have the tiny ink pads right through the stencil onto the shrink plastic and this works very well so either the archival ink or the pigment ink works well with this you could also use like stays on or um, one of those type of inks I mean there's so many inks out there now hybrid inks I don't have every type of ink in the world so I'm using what I have I add some of these little interesting shapes different ones I add some dots in a blue at the top just to make it more interesting and a few down at the bottom and I'm pretty happy with that so I go ahead and shrink them down super easy they shrink very quickly with a heat tool like this this is a heat tool for embossing it's hot 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 and I'm using a stylus to keep them from running away <laughs> across the desk as I try to do them <laughs> so these require just a tiny bit of trimming um, where I still didn't get it quite right but it's it's works fine with scissors it's no big deal this time I added a little bit of rainbow alcohol ink on the backs of them before I put them in the bezels alcohol ink would be another great choice for stenciling on these little plastics um, if you have light colors my I, I just have to caution you to use light colors so that when the the plastic shrinks it won't be super dark this is always the struggle is how dark it's going to get because something that's red when it's large will look like black or dark brown when it's shrunk so you have to keep your colors light but I wanted a little bit of extra sparkle so I put that that rainbow alcohol ink which is like a kind of like a mica diamond type of alcohol ink made by marabou on there and then I glued that side down and then I put some extra of the dimensional magic over the top to make it extra shiny and kind of a plastic you know top if you've enjoyed this video on making shrink plastic stencil girl stenciled earrings be sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment or question below subscribe if you haven't already all those things help our channels grow so that's very important so here you can see as I'm twisting them in the light how the shiny silver looks shining through the back that's why I made this extra little bit of close-up video for you to see what they really look like and of course there's pictures at the end and a list of supplies below the video that's it for me for today thank you for watching bye bye